Hello and welcome to LT72. In this video, we are going to see how to use user defined transformation in data services so that we can use Python scripting to transform our data. So, first, we will create a project. Then we will create our bad job bj underscore utt python. Then we will take the data flow, name it df underscore utt python. Double click on data flow. Now we will define our flow here. So for user defined transformation, uh, you need to go to the transform tab and then go to the platform. And from here, we need to drag and drop the user defined. Let's name it. Uh, so it won't work without uh, source and the input. So for empty source, we will take the row generation. Just connect source to the user defined transform. And for output, we will take a temporary table. You can take any data store and create a temporary table to see the results. Now we will connect this with our target table. Okay, now double click on the user defined transform. Go to the options, then edit option, Python expression editor, and here you need to click launch Python editor. Uh, so we at least need one output field. So first we will create output field. Now from here you can scroll variables and input output field. So we will click on input output field. In output field section we will create a new field. Insert. We will name our field anything like test. Now field size should be maximum 255 and content type let's make it name now we can see our variable under this output field uh, so let's write some python code uh, some print statement let's create a list also then print a ok so we can also val uh, validate our python code from here no errors found ok so click on ok then again ok now go to the output tab and select this output variable because we we need at least one output variable now we will go to the flow level and validate all okay so now we will run our job So we can see here our pin statement from the Python script. Hello world and this is our list. So let's check the output table. So output table is null because in test field we haven't passed any value. And that's why it is null. 
so in next video we will see how to pass the input to the python script and how to output the result